Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Sword, or not po Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. I almost wanted to say Sword and Shield Nuzlocke. And last time, we didn't really do a whole lot. We got our starter, we went through the, uh, the Slumbering Weld, we fought Hop. So all of that wasn't done in that order, but it was still things that we did in the last episode. And we even got our first encounter, which is... Good old Merrimack right here. Uh, I, I didn't give him a nickname last time, but I went and I looked up some of the characters from Rango, and this is what I found. I will not plan to use Squalvit because I absolutely hate Greedent. I think I expressed that greatly in the last episode, so I hope any of you Squalvit fans can understand and respect my opinions on some Pokemon. At least that that is my uh, that is my hope and maybe we can move on with our lives. So this time I'm gonna see if I can't get us to at least the wild area. So the gym challenge? Oh yeah, the annual competition where we have the right to be the champion. Oh yeah, I forget this game takes over the course of like in-game time it's like a year because it's just you're going all over the region and so it's like it's supposed to take a year in total for the gym challenge and so usually people can get through it pretty quickly so we're going on route two for our next encounter I actually know there's a clothing shop here so I want to see what type of clothes I can buy and what we can look at to see how we can change our look they just have loose tops. I am not a fan of anything you have to sell me. I am a fan of these hoodies, but no skinny trousers. I, I'm not that big of a fan of skinny trousers. Anything on the shoes? I will buy the black loafers though. I know that fashion should be the last thing I worry about in the game, but... Yes, I'm all done shopping for now, but, you know, you just you just have to get yourself fashionable enough for your journey, otherwise you won't be able to have a properly fun journey. So I'm thinking the first chance I get to get a haircut, I will definitely do that. So on to Route 2, our first encounter, what will we see along the route? What is it? I think that was a rookity that we saw. But Hop was rude enough. Oh my god. I don't... Uh, uh, why? Why? I... Okay. Okay, so... It's like, okay, here, we're gonna threaten you with a catching tutorial. But, you know what, we're not gonna threaten you with a catching. Instead, we'll explain that you get XP from catching Pokemon... Even though, if they're gonna teach you, they might as well do it within the first, like, ten minutes of the game. Not, you know, almost 45 minutes into the game, whenever you've probably already caught two or three Pokemon by this point. However, for our purposes, we're only going to catch, so let's re-roll, what's the first encounter? It's rook -a -D. So, I'm actually pretty happy that we got a rook -a -D for our encounter. Uh, so, oh, and it's a level 7, too, so he's already on par. Well, Corviknight's a crow Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's a crow, if I'm not mistaken. So, hopefully... Uh, I'll be able to catch... Oh, shoot. Uh, let us see if we can go ahead and catch him. And then we can start our training. Try to get everybody up to, uh, let's say, like, level 10, level 12. That, that's a good, uh, that's a good goal to have, right? Getting everybody on your team to level 12. So, I'll keep Merrimack around for, uh, just in case we need a third member. I don't, however, the moment I get the chance to, I will probably dip, uh, ditch him for a better Pokemon. Let's call you Senji. I, th I think 
Let me, uh, let me double check to see, because I'm pretty sure, you know, the Deadman Wonderland character, uh, Senji, Deadman, yeah, I think it's Deadman Wonderland's, uh, Senji, who is the, yeah, it's Senji, he's the, uh, the crow, or his branch of sin is Crow Claw. So, yeah, let's go ahead and call him Senji. Hopefully Corviknight's a male, otherwise that's going to be a little bit awkward. Let, let's check. Yep, so far our entire team is male, which, I mean, that's fine. We have Sobble, we have Merrimack, and we have Senji. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go heal up, and I am going to go train until I get everybody up to level... Uh, let's say... Twelve... Uh, ten... Uh, ten or ten or twelve. Cause I think that's a good, uh, that's a good thing to, uh... That's a good thing to, uh, to do, is have every Pokemon at the proper, uh, proper level. So, boys, I will see you all here shortly. After my nice little training routine, I'll cut it out, don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys sit through an entire little bit of training, so I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, I'm back everyone. Uh, I got some training done, and I got actually quite a bit done. I didn't quite get everyone to level 12, but uh, let me write down a couple timestamps, but yeah, I got everyone to... You know, a few more levels higher. Rango is level 11. Uh, Merrimack is level 7. And Senji is level 10. Which, I think, for the part in the game that we are in, that is the appropriate level that we need. Uh, I'm sorry if I just left a blank screen there. I was actually typing or writing down some uh, timestamps in my phone to keep track of for editing because let me tell you I oh <laughs> I looked down for one second to look at my phone again to check to see if I had on the proper uh, time code or time stamp to uh, edit out at oh man I could have had a Galarian uh, Zigzagoon as an encounter I mean don't get me wrong Corviknight's not bad but I don't want it so I'm afraid of this ending up being like my first playthrough Exactly. Oh, and look at that. The first trainer battle of the episode. So let's go and see what this guy is about. It's common madness for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. I mean, is it or is it just like kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Hey, a bit thirsty right now. I'm recording like right before bed and it's, it's currently uh, 9.32 p.m at the, uh, the time of this, uh, time in the recording, so, you know, if, uh, it, it's honestly, like, nice being able to stay up a little bit later on some days to record, because I personally think recording Pokemon Shield is a lot easier than some of the fan games I have tried to record in the past, but it's also easier going into a Nuzlocke challenge whenever you know what to expect out of the game compared to, you know, a game like Pokemon Victory Fire where you won't really know anything going into it. So, you know, this way I can gauge, you know, a rough estimate for how much time is going to be needed per episode, per activity, or not per, not per activity, but per, like, thing to do. And I feel like... I'm going to be more than ready for this Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke because I think Pokemon Shield is the first Pokemon game where I wasn't sent back to the, or the first generation, I should, I should say, where I wasn't sent back to the uh, Pokemon Center during my journey, which I hope doesn't happen because then that would mean we would lose the Nuzlocke or, um... I don't, I don't know, maybe before we even get close to that point, I'll be able to come up with a rule that says if you have enough Pokemon, you have to sacrifice 
you know, you have to give up so many Pokemon to continue your journey as a payment. You know, like, say, if you go into a gym with three Pokemon and you lose with three Pokemon in your party, then you have to sacrifice three Pokemon in order to continue your journey or continue the, uh, the game as a form of payment. Which, honestly, doesn't sound like that bad of a thing to implement into Nuzlocke's is some sort of revival clause, which I've thought about, and it's honestly not a bad a bad thing at all to want to have implemented into the game. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Yeah, sure, kid. Sure you are. You couldn't beat me, or you couldn't beat Hop, but I'm stronger than Hop already. So, you know, that that that's fine. You think you can beat me? I think that's honestly, that's cute. Oh, you've got two Pokemon this time instead of just uh, one like everybody else on this route. But you get fainted pretty easily by Sobble. And I don't plan on making this the Sobble run, especially since our first gym leader is a Grass-type Pokemon. And the second gym leader is Nessa, who is a Water-type user, so I'm hoping by the time we reach Nessa we'll have enough type diversity on the team in order to be able to, uh to properly, uh, well, what's the, the words I'm looking for? It's late, and I've taken my medicine to keep my pain away. Uh, in order to properly be able to properly diversify my team is, is what I'm trying to say. And honestly, that's why I want to get rid of Merrimack, because even though Merrimack is a normal type, I don't really think he has much use. Although, I could look into Greedon and see if he has a good secondary or hidden ability. Kind of like how I, I've mentioned my hatred of... Oh, what is it? Diggersby. Yeah, him. He gets an ability called Huge Power, which doubles your Pokemon's attack. I'm gonna probably regret doing this, wasting... Oh, I've got like 16 potions. I have no remorse by using one of many potions. That's great. That's fine. So, look, there's the professor. And Leon's talking to her. So have you unraveled all the secrets of, Dynam of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Oh, and we show up just as she's, uh, you know... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. So I couldn't send you take over right now. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Oh, well, nice of Granny to invite us in for tea. Tea and biscuits, or some sort of bread, I'm assuming. Cracker bread, not American cakey bread. <laughs> Why, Hop, dear, Siwulu has made some new friends. And you must be Acer. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. Yeah, but why do you need to rely on a few kids to complete it? You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Acer? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes the and it takes proper understanding of the thing if you plan on using Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. I was kind of hoping she would roast them on direction in this, but she doesn't, and I'm kind of sad about that. Convince Lee to endorse us. Why wouldn't you endorse him? Hop and Acer only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar become strong. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Yet you wouldn't endorse us right off the bat? Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you two can show me a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both of your... Yeah, see, I didn't have to waste a potion, but that, you know, that's okay. I usually play better safe than sorry. Mostly because I'm used to some of the older Pokemon games. I think it's really recently, as sun, uh, recent as Sun and Moon, where you get healed, like, every, you know... The healing isn't as... Oh, wow, okay. 
So let's go talk to Hop. I'm the greatest trainer there is. I'm gonna do that. I need the endorsement to take part. In, I need the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have, so we can prove to Lee we got what it takes. Of course. I mean, my team should be strong enough. It's only Route Two, and my Pokemon. I've checked before, and Milo's team is level 19, and I'm already at level 10, and either 11 or 12, I think. I can't remember. Uh, we'll, we'll see in a moment, but either way, two of my Pokemon are at least within the level 10s. And it's a three-on-three -three bout. Although Squalvit isn't quite that strong, because Squalvit is the lowest level Pokemon that I caught, whereas Rookadi was a level... Oh yeah, we are way, way over level. So this is one of those things where we could have just caught the Pokemon and then meandered our way over here to fight Hop. We even got a crit. There we go. We got the good old Sniper. Good old Sniper Sobble without having the ability Sniper. I gotta say, I love Sniper Inteleon. Sniper Inteleon is super good. Although it's kind of sad that in order to make full use of Sniper, you need to give him... I mean, giving him a scope lens to make use of the critical hit ratios that some of his moves have isn't a terrible thing to do at all by any means. But it still kind of sucks that you have to, you know, give him focus energy. You know, to kind of, like, guarantee those crits every time. Oh, it's actually not that terrible. I take that back. I thought about it, and I was like, wait a minute. And then I realized the error in my, in my thinking. So... You know, but it's still kind of like, man, I have to waste a whole turn setting up, and even that Inteleon isn't that beefy. I think that's where I was getting at, is it's Inteleon's not that beefy, so you have to be really careful if you want to set up for a chance to critical hit. Which is why I'm kind of excited for whenever they decide to return the move Matlock to the metagame. I would be excited for it in doubles to run a Pokemon with Matlock alongside a Sniper Inteleon, so that way the only moves getting through will be status moves. Or I think even Max Guard, if, uh, di you know, you're Dynamaxing in the fight. You know, I think Max Guard protects across the field, too. Uh, the Sting of Defeat and the Joy of Victory. I guess going through both is the key to, to the two of us getting stronger, right? Yeah, only I don't plan on losing, because if I lose... The Nuzlocke is over. Acer, hey, huh? Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Oh, sweet. Letter of endorsement. So, what is a number that we should try? Uh, so plenty young, plenty rough around the edges was a proper battle. Charizard and I are both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always wanted to get caught up in things like how you threw your Pokeball out. Things like that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that nonsense, but it seems you really have grown, grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Acer. Alright, Acer. You and me are going to train, train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Oh yeah, this is where we get our, uh, our wishing star. Sweet. I can appreciate this. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, sir, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Attained a wishing star. Hooray! Awesome, so now this is the one where either Leon or the Professor will take it. They'll turn it into a Dynamax band, and we'll be able to Dynamax before too long. Greatest trainer, I will be the greatest trainer ever. Yeah, sure you will. The The Isle of Armor kind of showed that uh, you end up being a Professor Assistant more than you do a Champion. Don't do a thing for you in that state, give them to me now, and I'll have it sorted. Oh, sweet. So this is... Ah, uh, slumbering well. It feels like we're really getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Oh, yeah, because it's already the end of the day in the game. 
Seems like I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Well, Sonia, I, I don't know. I'm not that big of a fan of curry. I think I might have had curry a couple times. But I am more partial to pho or ramen, even though curry is totally different, you know, culture, but... It's morning at last on our venture to truly start. Yay! Good morning to you, to you young challengers. Hop, is it true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was weird heavy fog, then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Acer tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Right fount of information you are. <laughs> Acer, hop, these are for you. Oh yes, yeah, sweet, our Dynamax fans. And this means we get to go on to the wild area. You got a Dynamax fan from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Sweet. So I think as we near the wild area, something I might do for the encounters is after every gym, uh, gym badge we get, we can unlock the wild area. And I think if I'm able to play the Isle of Armor DLC through this game, we'll make our way through that as well as a sort of way to go through the Isle of Armor on our journey, seeing as the level scaling will work with our teams, but that would also go with the amount of gym badges that we have too. Oh, sippy, sippy, sippy. I'm thirsty. There's also a lot of talking going on too, so we'll make our way back to... What? One last thing. I've got some great advice for you. You know Pokemon... You sometimes see Pokemon wandering about in the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like can crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But if you whistle, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember, need a fail-proof trick, press the left stick. Well, um, I'm not really going to catch any Pokemon. You remember what first, right? We went to go pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal. See you there. Yay. So I'll go ahead and make my way back to Wedgehurst. I'll see you guys in a second. Come on, Ace, you'll never beat me to the station at that pace. Oh, come on now, Hop. Why? How do you do this to me? So, I wonder, I think we might be able to encounter the... Okay, go away. Go away, Hop. I want to get to the wild area so I can get my encounter and so we can get to Motostoke and register for the gym challenge. So, out with it, Acer. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one, and you got... Not one were you doing this whole time. You want... If you're going to want a team if you're a trainer... Go away. I don't need to catch any more Pokemon in this part of the game. Unless there's one I can come back with the fishing pole. And then I might come back to that, actually. Which is something I have to remember, is that there's a lot more encounters in the game than just the routes. Gym challenges begin in Motostoke. So, let's see. Oh, I think we get one here, too. Oh, Hop's mom. Oh, oh man. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Squirrel Bunny as a partner, darling. Professor Bagnoli was kind enough to let us know that you, were, you two were setting out. So here's a, little, a last little gift uh, to see you all set on your way and all the kit you'll need for camping. I cannot read right now, but I'm also reading from the preview screen on OBS, so the screen's a lot smaller to read off of, which is say about the size of the switch screen i have a usb c to hdmi cable coming in so i won't have to be reading off of the uh the preview i can just be playing on my switch and there won't be any real latency to see hopefully but hopefully i'm i'm hoping before we leave uh that i'll be able to catch the galarian slowpoke here i won't be able to get galarian slow bro until way later in the game, but that is perfectly fine. Unless there's other areas I can get the... No, I think there's a lady specifically in the Isle of Armor who's on the ocean who makes the Galerica Cuff. So, let's see here. 
Game. What are you doing to me? Oh, we're already leaving. Wait, what? Why? Okay, that's fine. Motostoke is surrounded by a vast, wild area. Yeah, so before we get there, I want to explain the rules of the wild area that you could follow. Uh, you can either restrict your encounter to one per area, and you're really only limited to the one that you would see in battle, or you can do what I'm going to do where you do one, you get your initial one when you encounter there, or you would get to the... Uh, or... Ah, uh, let me... <laughs> I'm losing my my thought here. So, either you get the first encounter that you encounter in battle, not the first one that you see, or you would get the encounter, you know, one per gym battle, which would give you about eight per wild area, is what it would do. So, hopefully, I'm able to do... The... Oh man, the wild area is so nice. I think I'll go ahead and do the one per... The one per gym badge rule. And since it's our initial visit to the wild area, we'll get our first one, so you get about nine per wild area. I should say. Look at that! However, like the same rule, you are not limited to your first encounter, you are only limited to what you would first see in battle, which is what I really see the encounter as. So you're limited to what you would first run into in battle, not really what you would see on the surface since there is a vast amount of Pokemon in the wild area, and since it's my series, I do whatever I want, my rules, as long as it's basic... Uh... <laughs> you know, your basic rules. So hopefully we'll be able to get our first encounter in the wild area. However, I am not going to spend too much time in the wild area because there's no real need to. Like, there, there's not a, a necessity for it for us to go around the wild area and getting it all taken care of. Which I also realized one thing that we can do for the series is we can do the Diglett quest. Now, I'm not going to do the Diglett quest unless there is a specific Pokemon that I would like to use in my playthrough. I have no interest in doing the uh, the Diglett quest. I did it once. I did it within the first day of the DLC, and I, I did it with one of my closest friends, and at the end of it, you know, we were both kind of like, wow, this was really not worth the rewards it gave us. Like, yeah, it gives you access to a Lolan Pokemon. However, if you're like me and him, who have Pokemon Sun and Moon, and you have Pokemon Bank, and you have Pokemon Home, you have no real need for the Alolan Pokemon, since all of my Pokemon were already in uh, Pokemon Home. So, I kinda... I don't know what I want to catch here, or what I want to... I'm gonna go for the Wild Grass encounter anyways. I'm not gonna stress so much the... Uh, the ones on the surface, because the ones on the surface are kinda cheaty. The right stick, I don't... I don't need this in my life. I just want to catch my encounter, and I want to move on with my life. Although, I would love... To be able, I could not even catch that guy because he's way too overleveled for me. And that would have wasted the encounter. If I came into a very strong looking Pokemon, like an evolved Pokemon, man, a Vanillite actually might be helpful. A Vanillite might be super helpful in all, in all honesty. So I'll get one super close to the... Uh, to, to Motostoke, just to see what we get. I thought we had one. There we go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, we get Snow Runt. Oh man, that's actually super nice. I can either. Uh, what are you? Uh, you're a male. It's only gonna be a uh, Glalie, because I think Frostlass is a female-only Pokemon. Which honestly, Glalie isn't that bad of a choice either. 
Because if I remember correctly, Glalie gets access to Freeze Dry, which against other Water-type Pokemon is great. Although we won't get Glalie for a while. And since I know it's going to be Glalie, I'm going to call him what I called him back whenever I played the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demo. I'm going to call my Glalie Jaw Monster. But, yeah, Jaw Monster. Uh, yeah, mm. I know how to spell, I promise. <laughs> yeah, Jaw Monster. So, Jaw Monster's in the party. We're now up to four Pokemon on our team, which is pretty nice. Oh, uh, what I. Oh, Snow Run. I was either really hoping for, so I know I just kind of threw away an encounter, but not really. I got an ice type right before a grass type gym. Wait, we couldn't run away? Well, why not? Oh, and we're frozen too. Oh, it's level 14. I mean, the fact that I couldn't have run away before is kind of redonkulous. So, that was our encounter. Yeah, see, like, Pokemon like that that you would see in the overworld that are way too strong for you to catch. You know, seeing those kind of, kind of just ruins the whole first encounter thing in the wild area since it's the only portion of the Pokemon game, to my knowledge, that has that, you know, that type of thing. And one thing I could do is I could do raid battles which would be difficult at first, but if I grind enough, you know, it wouldn't follow typical Nuzlocke rules because raids are significantly harder. Or maybe one thing I can do is, I don't know, I've already decided the rules are gonna be one encounter in the wild area per gym badge, and that goes for the wild area in the Isle of Armor as well. So in Moto Stoke City, finally, only episode two, actually. We made it quite far in only two episodes. So I think this episode's going to be quite a uh, quite a long episode. Because I think we're just going to go ahead and get registered for the gym challenge. Fight whoever we have to fight in there. And we'll call it a day. Yeah, I think that, that honestly sounds like a plan. Or I can go ahead and call it a day here... Oh, come on. I was going to go to the Pokemon Center anyways. Can you leave me alone, please? Ah, uh, real ace of you to make it to the wild area. Seems like you ran your trek. Seems like... Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I mean... I'd say it's about a 30-minute episode so far, which honestly isn't that bad. Why are you... Uh, I could... Uh, I just, I don't want to customize my league card. I wish there was a thing where you could just ignore some of these things, honestly. Like, I like the league cards thing, that they add a little bit of, uh, lore to each of the, uh, the things. But, honestly, I don't think a lot of the tutorials are that necessary. You know, it's like, do you want to learn about this? Yes or no? You hit no? Like, okay, we won't teach you about this set thing that you probably could know, but you don't really need to know. It honestly would be a nice thing to have happen. Thanks for waiting, Solve on the team are all better now. Hope to see you again. By the way, you may be... Oh, sweet. So we can go back to Wedgehurst now, and we can go to the Isle of Armor. So I think I'll be running two separate sides of the story. Uh, yep, the gym challenge ceremony. So, honestly, I'll probably do a poll over on my Insta for those of you who decide to watch and follow on my Insta. I'll probably be linking the video uh, playlist on my Instagram to come here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to move on to the next part of the game. I honestly do. <laughs> so what is some of the stuff over here that we can do? I'll come back to some of this stuff. 
Actually, you, you know what? I'm gonna go shop in here real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our outfit changed. We're gonna get all snazzed up for the Pokemon League. Sea Urchin Pincurchin. Uh, it's, it, 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 this is okay. The Polos are okay. Oh, the Challenger tracksuit. I love... Oh, and the Varsity Jacket? Oh, but it's so expensive, though. Man, I'm just gonna go and take off my hat. Yeah, see what see what options we came with. So, hat. Remove the hat, because I hate the hat. Uh, the glasses. We'll go ahead. Yes, leave. Not sure. Yeah, so we'll update our look, and we'll probably do the Moto Stuck stu Moto Stoke stuff within the next episode of the of the Nuzlocke. So let's let's see let's see. Uh, I would like to get hair done. So your hair, bag, and things too. What kind of look do you want? Uh, Caesar cut. Nope. I want the side part. Side part or undercut? Ah, the side part... Uh, I'd say the side part's close enough to my hair. Let's see what Caramel Blonde looks like. Uh, gold. Let's confirm that. Just so that way we have my look nailed for the series. All done. Thanks for your patience. You look fresher than a mint. Ah, uh, sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. We look like a bit of a nerd now, but that is 100% a-okay. So guys, uh, that is all the time we have for this episode. We didn't really get a whole lot done. I mean, we kind of did. We made it through the wild area. We got a lot more Pokemon added to our team. And overall, we just, we just had a good time. I feel like I talked pretty consistently. I wasn't too... Anyways, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you have anything to say, leave a comment. And if you enjoy my content enough so far, feel free to subscribe. It's free, costs you nothing, and you can unsub anytime you want. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!